Republican convention came to a close today, and with it, a number of familiar and new faces will be gearing up for a bid at political office in November. Our Austin Goss was there and gives us a look at the results from Watertown. The South Dakota Republican Party has officially tabbed the statewide elected officials who will run in the general election. Four of the nominees selected Saturday were running for uncontested seats, but there were contested races for each of the three races at the top of the ticket. Former Attorney General Marty Jackley was able to hold off current DCI Director David Knappig by a relatively narrow margin of six percentage points. You've seen Washington make huge mistakes under Biden. He doesn't know what he's doing. It's time that the Attorney General's pushed back. Who better than the former Chairman of the Attorney General's and the South Dakota Attorney General that you watched when he was Chairman push back on Obama and Biden's uh, taking away your firearms when we won those cases. Larry Roden also managed to hold off an insurgency bid for the Lieutenant Governor's Office launched by former House Speaker Steve Haugard. Haugard supporters offered that the candidacy could be a way to check the governor's power a quality which Roden said was already accounted for with him there. We don't walk in lockstep. Many times I've shared my opinion with the governor and not been received well, and that's okay. And in the biggest surprise of the day, Mune Johnson was able to handily defeat incumbent Secretary of State Steve Barnett. Johnson had spent the campaign hammering Barnett on the issue of election security, which she argued he did not take seriously enough. We need post-election reviews. South Dakota is one of only four states in the U.S. without any post-election reviews. So we have no idea of how accurate the machines are from the real ballots from the elections, and we have a right to know, and I will make that happen. As for the Democrats, they'll have the opportunity to name statewide nominees at their convention next month in Fort Pierre. The general election will take place on November 8th. In Watertown, Austin Goss, Dakota News Now.